Hello everyone, this is Pritam Shaha and welcome to my YouTube channel Cognitive Codos. So today we will see another PwC interview question. This question is very important and little bit tricky question. Please do not skip the video and see the whole video. Then you will get understand. Very simple I can say but it's a tricky thing. Okay, interview this kind of question. Uh, they are very much asked. Okay this kind of uh, question for uh, getting your logic clearing how you are clearing, uh, making the logic to get uh, solve the problem okay so, so let's see uh, how what is the question and how uh, we are solving okay i will solve based on my way if you have any other approach you can uh, also do and comment on the comment, video comment section so that i also can learn from you guys okay okay and uh, before going ahead just I want to introduce my channel Cognitive Coders. Okay, here we used to upload data engineering related stuff. Okay, uh, uh, so please, please, please go through our videos if you like this and please do uh, subscribe our YouTube channel and please, please, please share with your friends so that uh, we can reach to the broader audience. Okay, so without wasting time, let's go to our notebook. So this is the uh, question okay data validation between uh, source and target table okay we need to do data validation between source and target table so whatever data they have passed from source table we, we have fetched from source table so the same data the correct data is is, is it exist on the target table or not that we need to validate okay so how uh, we will do first we will see the uh, given data okay so we have two tables okay one is source one is target okay two uh, data frame. okay so source data frame, we have id and name okay so target data frame also we have id and name but in source data frame, number three id has c and four id has d but here number three id is x four id is a okay so it is not matching so how we will find out so uh, we'll do we are doing it for uh, just few four data with four data but in real real time it will be much be okay so we'll see the optimal solution okay so i have written the whole code okay uh, for saving the time i will go through each and every code line okay and uh, we'll try to uh, make the understanding better for you guys okay please stay with us so first what we'll do First, I am importing the uh, function, whatever uh, it is required to do the park activity. Mm, uh, okay, so I have imported call, when, and colleagues. Okay, so I'll let you know uh, call and when. I think you guys know. If you don't know colleagues, don't worry. I will explain it. Okay. So, or why I am using here colleagues? That I also explain you uh, at the end. Okay, at the end it is required. Okay. So please don't skip uh, see the whole video okay uh, so first what i am doing i have two data frame okay source data frame this is source data frame this is uh, target data frame so for for the better naming convention first i am changing the name of the data frame okay and performing the join operation using the full join technique okay so here source data frame as t1 table 1 and target data frame i am putting it as t2 okay for better naming convention because we will use the same in, in, uh, data frame in next time using t1 and t2 we don't need to put source df target df like that okay so after that we are joining performing joining so i think you guys know joining how to do joining because if you don't know uh, please go to uh, on my channel and uh, in PySpark database playlist you will uh, get to know that you, how many types of joints are there in PySpark database uh, this playlist you will get to know how many types of joints are there and how to do joining that I have already explained here okay and also if you don't know how to do uh, unit testing in PySpark you can uh, go, go through my this playlist okay 
I am I'm, I'm putting a unit testing videos here okay uh, please go through you will get to understand how to do unit testing in PySpot code okay so let's come to come back to the our today's topic okay so joining is done okay so I'm getting the uh, data frame like this now after that what I'll do I need to I need to I need to get get this thing that uh, this is uh, this data is not matching okay so how I will get it so first I'll check because all the uh, all the column name is same so for both the table uh, this is uh, source ID and um, uh, this is um, the target ID target table ID so first I will change the name of, of this column also. so here I am changing column t1 dot id equals to source id t1 t2 dot id is also target id and same for name okay name column so it has changed now you can see this this all are for for the um, uh, um, getting a better naming convention and uh, do the spark activity in a better way okay so i'm changing the whole whole thing okay so next next we'll do the main uh, filter and aggregation perform okay so what next what i am doing here next uh, the, from this the from this column uh, from this cell onward we are doing the main uh, transformation okay so what we are doing here we are uh, we are taking one new column using uh, it is uh, name is comment so if the uh, data is not matching we'll put the comment there okay in that row okay so the condition is when the source id and target id is matching when the source id and target id is matching okay but and source name and target name not matching source name and target name is not matching then it will put mismatched comment in this comment column okay another condition i have given here when target id is null then it's a new source when source id is a null it's a new source in target okay so uh, if you, you are not understanding this don't worry i will explain it later okay first we will see this condition this condition okay so you can see So this target ID and source ID is matching, but source name and target name is not matching. That is, that's why I'm getting mismatch comment. Okay. And here everything is matching. I have not given any condition for this. That's why it's a null. Okay. So now what I need to do, I just need, uh, I just need this ID and um, comment. Okay. So uh, as return in return. Okay. That these IDs are not matching because the my question is we need to val validate the data uh, between source source and target table okay so here it will be event data validation i have given here So um, now what I, uh, what I'll do? I I need to just filter it. I need to just filter it based on command. So here I am performing filter filter operation. So df dot filter in comment column what is not in null that will show me. That is showing me. So now I just need this id and comment. I don't need this columns. Okay. So now what I am doing, I'm performing here Coles. Coles, what is doing? Coles is basically returning the um, uh, the value which is without null. Coles is basically 
reduce the partition as we know but here pull is what we why we are using there are two columns okay source id and target id both are same okay we don't need to consider we don't need to drop also okay so you are using uh, uh, here uh, with column i'm taking one id column new column is uh, i'm put, um, giving the name id and using pull is source id and target id source id and target id so coles is basically performing coles why coles is using i mean i'm telling for telling you for otherwise you will not understand coles is basically return the first column that is not null okay so here if i will give you the example here so here in null null one null null two okay so if i will uh, use coles for this two column to, to, uh, okay so first, first column i'm getting null because null null okay second column i'm getting one third column i'm getting two whatever it is with without null the first of the column that it will come that it is considered so here there is no null this is three and three this is also four and four so it will consider it is in one one three one one time three and one time four okay three three id is mismatch four id is mismatch so here uh, when i'm using police so both the column it is coming to in one column so i'm reducing the column column also here so data printing size also it will reduce for for here we are doing with small data but in real time we will process uh, gbs of data okay so th in that case uh, th this will improve the performance also okay so i think you have understood the coles if you are still not understanding i am showing you one uh, one example here yeah, one let me show you the example then you will get to understand the coles function is it there is nothing much uh, rocket science in coles okay so here i am putting one another data then you will get to understand coles comma five if i will put it here So what it is returning? None, none, none to one. First, uh, I'll print it. Cpl dot. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Let me run it. Why it is not running? I need to check or let it be. Uh, I don't know why it is not running. I think you guys will understand. So for none, okay. Here it is none. Yes. Yeah. And here it is none. Both is none. So it is consistent. It is considering the null value. Okay. But for here, it is one and none. It is considered the one only. For here, it is none and two. It is considering two. For here, it is both have value. Both the both the column have value four and five. So here, return the first column that is not null. Okay. The first column is four. So it is returning the value four. So in this way. Coles is working. I think you have understood now the concept. Okay. So let's delete it. Not record now. So one thing is pending here. The this condition. So now we'll see this condition. So when target ID is null, so here I'm not getting any target ID null. 
so this uh, and source id also there is no none so that's why i'm not getting any uh, new new in target new in source so now we will make the data like that so we'll add one data here five equals to e okay and here we'll add another data six equals to g okay so now if i'll run the whole cell once again all the cells now i am getting this so for this to this to when condition i am getting the data so here you can see five i have added in source table okay in source table five i have added six i have added in target table okay so five so five five here you are getting in uh, in source table it is uh, it has data source name but uh, in target table it is none so newly i have added in, in source table that's why it is giving the comment new in source okay but six i have added in target table but in source it is not existing so it is newly added in target table so now it, it is giving you the comment newly added okay so seeing the comment you will get to understand what is happening in the table the validation okay so here also is not null only it is considering and after that it is returning the result like this okay so i think the, now you have understood the concept okay so uh, this kind of question is very much uh, important uh, for your interview uh, so i think you have uh, you don't have any doubt if you have any doubt please 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 uh, comment on the video comment section or if you uh, if you want to un uh, clear any other question regarding interview you can also comment on that uh, comment uh, comment that question in the video comment section so that we can make video on that okay uh, and uh, you can also mail us uh, a mail id is given to, uh, in the video uh, video description okay if you want to connect with me you can uh, ping me on linkedin talkmate or instagram okay uh, all the places are free there are no money required to connect with me to uh, to discuss with me about data engineering uh, stuff okay and uh, in you can join our telegram channel for uh, for participating in daily basis quiz okay we are putting quiz, uh, mcq question uh, uh, and uh, uh, daily basis you can answer that okay and daily basis update also we are uh, giving there in telegram and whatsapp channel you can join there for uh, getting all the updates regarding our channel regarding the videos okay if you want any other types of video you can also comment that also in the video comment section or you can ping me uh, in uh, linkedin you can request me okay so thank you for watching uh, this video if you uh, like our video please do like share and subscribe our youtube channel and please 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 share with your friends otherwise we are not able to grow okay uh, if, you, if you guys will not subscribe will not share with your friends we will demotivate okay please please uh, because we are doing very much hard work for you guys all the contents are free okay so please see all the videos share with your friend and stay with us so thank you thank you for watching our video bye